this uh, walk around here, I think, huh? Yeah. population of 1,700 people. And this is the historic region. Old Black occupied the with two lands. Lawmakers and newspapers called for their removal and even extermination. To the with, with force to the sides of the hill and it would wash down all the clear streams and mining debris leading to the disappearance of the Wintu's important food sources like sun. So Wintu's were an Indian tribe that were exterminated. was a boom and bust era. Businesses and buildings rapidly changed hands. Sometimes owners returned home. Other times they simply moved a few doors down, uh, taking advantage of lower rent. One thing was certain, you could never be sure if your favorite store would still be in business the next time you came to the town for supplies. Over the years, Shasta residents picked up their mail at 28 different locations, including several Well Fargo offices located where the south side ruins now stand. There was Grandpa's store. The many changes in ownership created messy and unclear chains of high in this place was a probably a wholesaler you know they used to sell to the miners their supplies like rope like shovel i don't know buckets
180 years ago. This is how the town is like. Welcome to Shasta State Historic Park's South Side Ruins built between 1853 and 1856. These brick buildings were once the central business district of the busy gold rush town of Shasta. of the region's rugged terrain, Shasta was as far west as stagecoaches and freight wagons could travel. It means when they came from the east, when they came from the east of the United States, this was the, uh, because of its uh, rugged uh, uh, terrain, the coaches could not travel anymore further. Here, miners working in the northern mines relied on pack trains of oxen, mules, or horses to bring them their supplies. grew into a town. In 1850, residents officially named the town Shasta. Reading Springs was located five miles from where Reading discovered gold. Oak, pine, and manzanita covered the nearby hills. The trees provided fuel for cooking, lumber for buildings, and shade on hot summer days. From the showpiece to ruins, although the brick building survived in the fire of 1878, they could not withstand the ravages of time. proud brick buildings were simply shells of their former selves. In 1872, the railroad 